Well, yes, struck gold and tawny, I suppose, lion. And just to excuse the slightly shaky nature of the picture, that thing is most of the way to Mala Mala main camp. It's in Mala Mala, but it is coming north towards Cheetah Plains, and that is very good news. In about four weeks, it will be on Cheetah Plains if it carries on at the pace that it's currently moving. Yeah. Okay, okay, yep. We'll show you how far away it is. <laughs> right, so that's how far away he is. And let's just hope, and you can see the other vehicles there. They may drive in front of him. Yes, they will, almost inevitably, as they try to get their own pictures. They're not doing anything wrong. There's no reason they shouldn't be driving precisely like they're driving. They don't even know we're here. We're so far away. Now, Marat, you're wondering how many years a lion like this will live. Often not more than 10, quite frequently up to about 12, and very seldom beyond 12, because they will normally be taken out by something nasty as they go. Now, let's just quickly have another look at the one on the dam wall. So there are two of them there. And what we're going to do is probably move a little bit forward now and see if we can't get that other one coming north because that's really quite nice. So we're now on the Mala Mala Cheetah, Cut, Cheetah Plains boundary and those lions are slowly... Oh, there he comes. He's actually turned towards us. He's coming straight towards us now. This is wonderful. What a stroke of luck to have arrived just in time for him to start moving forward. Of course, he may well go fast asleep where he is now. Seems to be looking for his brother to try and join him. Now, which one of the Birmingham boys this is, I couldn't begin to tell you. Yeah. Now really, I must reiterate, those guys have no idea that we're even looking at them, so they're not being, um, they're not being ornery or nasty at all. They're just simply conducting their game sighting. And we just happen to be sort of at a military distance away from them. So we'll just enjoy him for now. And I'll keep you posted on the movements of the other one, see if he does actually keep coming north. Hopefully he will. I can't see why he wouldn't, you know, I mean, he's decided to make the move. Yeah, he's still moving. Maybe that lazy bones would get up and come with him. This is how, of course, the coalition split up. And I don't mean permanently, I just mean during the time that we, you know, when we see them. We so seldom see all four together. In fact, I can't remember the last time we saw all four of the Birminghams together. And you can see how it happens. One of them decides he's too exhausted to possibly move. While the other one thinks, well, it's probably time I did something useful. Mark some territory, found another bush to lie in. Oh, he's gone to sleep, the other one. YouTuber, you say, is he going to roar? YouTuber, it's highly unlikely that he's going to start to roar. Normally, they will roar only uh, sort of when they are being territorial, and that's normally at night, as the sun goes down, just before it comes up, and sometimes in the middle of the night. Very seldom have I heard lions roaring during the middle of the day, so it's highly unlikely that they'll roar now. His brother has now gone to sleep, I'm afraid, in between the two Mala Mala vehicles. I've just seen him lie down. And from this distance, with the wind blowing the way it is, I don't even think we'd hear them roar. We'd certainly be able to see his uh, head moving. And Roshni, you're wondering how far away we are. I mean, can you tell on the focus there, Seb? Uh, no, because I'm on infinity. Infinity. So I, won't give you I, I'm, I reckon that's about between a quarter of a mile and 600 meters, maybe a quarter and a third of a mile away, about 400 meters, four to 600 meters. It's a long way. And the 
only reason we saw them was we saw that I saw the vehicles and then I saw the tawny colour on top of the on top of the damn wall there. And Adam, you're wondering about why they're called the Birmingham Boys. How have they come to be known after a sort of semi well known British crime syndicate that operated in the sitting of Birmingham? I think it when was it, it was about the fifties or so. Anyway, the Birmingham boys are not from Birmingham, obviously. Well, they are, but not from Birmingham in England. They're from the farm, Birmingham, which is in the Timbervati, right next door to Ngala, where I was talking about those baboons. And they were born there to a pride called the Birmingham Pride. And they were tossed out of the pride at pretty much the same time by whoever their fathers were. And they came down this way and took over from the Matimbas. They were the two males that looked after this area before. And they came in in the winter of 2015, I think, was it? Yeah. So they've been resident here for some time. Was it 2015? No. It wasn't, it was the winter of 2016, they, yeah, that's right, they, no, goodness gracious, no, it was winter, end of winter 2015, we had them arriving here, I think, unless my mind's gone completely mad, oh. the other one's up, is There's it, another one to the left. is there another one to the left, there are three of them, three lions, well spotted. Vultures coming in. Ah, brilliant. He's been feeding on this carcass. This carcass is obviously still going because the vultures are coming back down. All right, well, we'll watch how this plays out, everybody. While we do that, Jamie Patterson apparently has also got something fluffy. Take the vulture coming in here. I do indeed have something fluffy, not as fluffy as a lion mane, and certainly not the same colour. And there we go, there's a fluffy scrub hair tail. We think it's a scrub hair tail.